everybody. So today's craft beer review is Green Man's ESB Extra, Extra Special Bitter Special Amber Ale. <laughs> uh, uh, Green Man is in, I can't even see that, Ashen, uh, North Carolina. 5.5% uh, ABV, uh, 12 fluid ounces, 32 IBUs. Um, I like how that's on the bottle. Uh, I did get this out of the original Craft Beer Club's uh, monthly box. This was in the December of 2021. And it's nice to see actual beer labels is what I'm thinking because I believe on all the other eight that I've done, none of them have an ABV, IBUs, nothing. You have to look them up on the page. So it is nice that they have that on there. I do not see a date on this one. It would be nice to see the date, but at least we have something. So let's go ahead and get these open, or get this open, uh, and see what I think. I like the caps, green man. Um, on there, a little hiss, get it into this glass, Let's see if, not really a head, off white, a hint of like caramel, very light caramel, obviously because of the beer, um, color, yeah, amber, amber, caramel in color, uh, it's, it almost looks like a sunset. Like it's daylight and it's getting darker. Uh, three different colors. Yeah, overall pretty good. Caramel in color. It's a ESB. I I think I'm fine with that color. Uh, a little bit of haze coming up, but not very much. Uh, the the carbonation looks low, but that's just me. Let's go ahead and smell. Yeah, the light caramel, light toffee, uh, using those little darker malts um, like SRM 120 and maybe like 140, 160, somewhere in there. Uh, caramel malt, uh, a little bit of sweetness, but you're going to probably get that with that caramel and that toffee smell. Kind of going into a very, very light brown ale. What the 32? I almost want to say I'm picking up just a little bit of bitterness after that uh, sweeter uh, caramel toffee uh, notes, a little maltiness in there. There is a touch of bitterness. Let's go ahead and taste. This thing is cold. Um, I just pulled this out of the garage. Uh, I think it was probably low 20s high teens last night wow that is cold light malt sweetness caramel toffee a little bitterness about halfway through the palate going back goes down easy that bitterness does linger just a little bit you get some of that sweetness back in there i think more of the malty caramel comes out but that bitterness does hang around Easy drinking. Um, I, I think ESBs, maltier beers, you have to be into them to like them. I do think, like on this one, that bitterness does help balance out that sweetness. And, and it works pretty well. I think if it was warmer, that maltiness, that sweet malt would come out more more calm, caramel, more toffee. So it's gonna depend on how you like them if you buy this. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say that uh, this, this is probably near freezing. Um, and that could be why the carbonation's a little low. I don't think I've had a beer yet this year that's been this cold. Um, but yeah, overall good. That bitterness does seem to linger, maybe grows a little bit. Uh, you can tell, like, like it's growing on the back of my tongue, 
but that sweetness, maltiness is up front. So yeah, if you're into beers like this, uh, I think it's good. I'd probably go 3.75. Uh, in my opinion, there's really nothing that sticks out. There's a lot of other beers that I would drink. For an ESB, I would probably go 4.25, but at least for me, I'd go 3.75. Um... I haven't looked at all the papers yet, but I might uh, make the food. Usually on the back, they give you a, a recipe. Uh, the, the last one I was going to do that, then I gave all of them out, so I couldn't do that. But 3.75 out of 5. <clears throat> Let's check on tapped. Eight of my friends have tried this. Average 3.78. Uh, 34,000 people have rated this 3.69. So I'm just a touch above... Uh, everybody, malty, smooth, sweet, dark, light. How can, dark, light? M must be light-bodied? See, I don't get that. A nutty? I don't know about nutty. I did kind of say in the smell that it was a very light brown. Now I could, I, I could see some nuttiness in the back with that bitterness. Um, but e I don't know. I should probably look into it because I think about it all the time. On Untapped with the style guidelines, if they, I don't know if they put like the words in or if that's generated from what people say or put in because the description says full body, but then style guidelines say light so i i don't understand how that works but yeah th there is a little nuttiness there on the back with that bitterness um now that i saw that so let's just look through here and see if anybody says definitely has all the characteristics that i expect in an esb like i said for an esb i'd probably go 4.25 but for me 3.75 um so yeah if you can find this uh i would definitely pick it up uh if you're into esbs if you're not you don't like maltiness you don't like bitterness i would probably pass so if you enjoyed this review, check some more out over here. And until next time, make sure you try new craft beer.